What we're going to demonstrate today is our recommended way of assembling and plumbing a freestanding bath with surround panel. The main components are bath, panel, foot assembly and panel brackets. There are three optional methods of filling the bath and these are 1. Using a conventional two-hole bath filler or shower mixer with pop-up waste and overflow. 2. Using a pair of deck valves connecting to a cool fill bath pop-up waste overflow assembly. Here there is a spout built into the overflow head. 3. Using a wall mounted shower valve supplying mixed water to the cool fill spout waste assembly as in 2. This can be thermostatic or manual control. The advantage of the thermostat is that it controls the temperature better. We are concentrating in this video on the cool fill and deck valve combination. For the more conventional two hole filler and pop up waste procedure see our accompanying video for the universal surround panelled bath. The first thing is to remove the packaging but ensure that you leave the protective film on the bath till the end. Lay a blanket on the floor to prevent damage to the bath and then lay the bath face down on this blanket. The next step is to assemble the leg frames by inserting the leg with locking nuts into the frame. The actual foot screws onto the leg and is locked in place. Having fitted all the legs and feet into the frame, we secure the frames to the base of the bath using the screws provided. Do not use longer screws as these may damage the bath. The position for the leg frame is already marked on the bath as a template and the holes are pre-drilled for the screws. Now we adjust the feet to the desired height of the panel as set out in the instructions. In this instance it's 630mm overall top of bath to the underside of the foot. Once levelled, lock the locking nuts to secure this adjustment. This ensures the bath is fully supported at the base once installed within the panel. Our next step is to offer the panel into the final position within the room. This enables the position of the plumbing to be set out to avoid the bracing bars of the panel and mark the position of the panel securing brackets. Leave a tolerance on each side of the bracket to ease location of the panel when finally positioned. Lift the panel out of the way to allow the fixing of the panel brackets to the floor. Ensure that all brackets face the same way as the panel slides under these. We next drill the holes for the plumbing into the floor and bring the tails through the floor finish. We are now ready to drill the bath to fit the bath mixer or deck mounted valves. Apply masking tape over the protective film on the bath rim and centre the template supplied on the overflow. The template is marked with alternative dimensions of 180mm for two hole fillers and 250mm for deck valves as we are using here. Drill the holes at the correct centres using a tank cutter. 32mm for 3 quarter inch tails on a two hole bath filler and 36mm for deck mounted valves. The cool fill is a bath pop up waste, overflow and filling spout mechanism all in one. There are two connections onto the back of the manifold to bring the water into the spout. The fitting comes with one capped off and one elbow fitted. The cap can be replaced with another elbow included in the box. If you are using mixed water from a wall mounted shower valve there is only one connection required. Here we are using both elbows hot and cold with the water mixing in the manifold. At this point secure the cool fill manifold 
to the overflow hole and the waste to the dishing in the base of the bath. It is a good idea to peel the protective film from these areas before final clamping. The 3 quarter inch diameter deck valves give very good flow rate even on low pressure but we need to use both of the elbows. Now clamp the deck valves to the bath rim ensuring the outlets marked with an arrow face away from the cool fill. It's advisable at this stage to peel the protective covering on the bath back just around the tap holes to prevent it being trapped when mounting the valves. This makes it easier to remove when the process is complete. When using the 3 quarter inch deck valves with cool fill we have as an extra item available a kit with flexible hoses. These are for connecting valves to cool fill and valves to incoming supplies. In addition there is a bath trap with a flexible outlet. This whole kit is intended to make the connections much easier for the plumber. It saves time, money and in the long run is the proper thing for the job. We have now connected two flexes between manifold elbows and the valve outlets. Before we connect the supplies to the valves and the waste, we need to raise the bath on timber. This is to enable the final connections to be made below the panel and the bath combination later in the process. Now we have connected the inlet tails to the supplies. These are 3 quarter inch pipe threaded connections and give enough length to get below the panel to the floor level. They also incorporate isolating valves and connect as compression fittings to 22mm copper pipe. This is now the finished assembly of all the different bits. We have got our hot inlet and cold inlet coming through isolating valves. We would recommend that you use check valves in addition on a high pressure system but these are not supplied in the kit. We now need to assemble the bath waste and connect through the flexible connector to the waste outlet in the floor. The whole assembly is now complete and ready for wet testing, which is the next procedure. Having satisfied there are no leaks, we now go to the next stage, which is to place the bath within the panel onto the blocks. To do this, we have to disconnect the inlets and the waste assembly from the floor. So we position the panel with the bath inside it and then reconnect the supplies and the waste connection beneath the panel. Retest and then remove the timber blocks. The bath then drops onto the floor and we can slide the bath and panel into its final position into the retaining brackets already fitted to the floor. All we do now is apply a silicon bead all the way along the joint between the panel and the floor. This secures the bath in its final position and the installation is completed with the removal of the protective film.